Hi, my name is Kelly Bedoin, and I'm going to be talking to you about Charles Bennett Syndrome. Oliver Zacks stated that Charles Bennett Syndrome was your brain's reaction to the loss of eyesight. However, a more consistent uh, definition would be consistent or periodic complex hallucinations that occur in visually impaired individuals with intact cognitive abilities and with no evidence of psychiatric disorders or neurobiological lesions or abnormalities. There is no exact criteria for diagnosing CBS. However, um, a lot of the research studies use the same techniques um, to say whether a person has CBS or not, and that's usually visual hallucinations, either complex or comp or elementary. Um, people usually understand that they're having a hallucination, so they're they're insightful of the fact that they're hallucinating, or they can be easily corrected, um, and that they have no other forms of um, neurological disturbances or delusions. <coughs> um, Charles Bennett was a Swiss naturalist. He was born in 1720 and died in 1793. He studied everything from entomology to reproduction. He is also the man that um, thought of the idea of every woman that is pregnant with a girl, that baby is pregnant, and that baby is pregnant, and that baby is pregnant, um, going throughout um, the lifespan. So if you've ever seen that picture, that was his idea. <clears throat> um, his grandfather, Charles Lullin, had a bilateral cataract surgery, and a few years later he developed ho visual hallucinations. <clears throat> Um, Bennett attributed these hallucinations to um, his brain drawing from memory because they could no longer draw from sensation. <clears throat> Charles Bennett actually started experiencing these same hallucinations when he was older in his life. <clears throat> Ramachandra says that many people with uh, Charles Bennett syndrome experience hallucinations that are realer than reality. He also talks about these hallucinations being um, conceptual completions rather than perceptual completions <clears throat> because they can't perceive anything visually anymore. CBS also opened the door to many, to us being able to research hallucinations and what parts of the brain are affected by that. <clears throat> the portions of the brain affected during a CBS <clears throat> hallucination is the lateral temporal cortex, the corpus stratum, the thalamus, which is um, connected to memory, the parietal lobe, the superior temporal sulcus, which is involved in hallucinating faces, the fusiform gyrus, which is color uh, involved in color hallucinations and object hallucinations. <clears throat> There's also an asymmetrical blood flow in uh, the lateral temporal cortex and the basal ganglia, while hallucinations are happening. <clears throat> um, Ramachandra said that uh, Charles Bennett syndrome is caused by brain damage somewhere in the visual pathways, either in the brain or the eye, <clears throat> and, and, that's, and they cause people to be either completely blind or partially blind. CBS occurs um, mostly in elder, elderly patients um, with eye diseases and or other problems. <clears throat> There's no universal treatment for Charles Bennett Syndrome because treatment isn't necessarily needed for people with cognitively intact memory, uh, with, who are cognitively intact. <clears throat> um, most people with Charles Bennett Syndrome do well um, just with counseling and reassurance. If you tell somebody that they have Charles Bennett Syndrome, that knowing just the name really gives them comfort. <clears throat> Um, they can also do neurobiological and occipital examinations to see if there is any way to treat the pathology. <clears throat> um, and pharmacotherapy really doesn't seem to have any effect on Charles Bennett syndrome. Uh, it's seen that Charles Bennett syndrome is between 10 to 40 percent of all visually impaired people. <clears throat> um, in psych psychogeriatric patients, it's 1.84 to 3.5 of all people over 65, of all psychogeriatric patients over 65. 
11 to 15 percent of all visually impaired um, patients have complex hallucinations. Um, there also seems to be a slight skew of females being more likely to have Charles Bennett syndrome, but there are also a lot of um, studies that will say that there is no there is no skew at all, and that they are both male and female are most are both likely to get it. <clears throat> Overall, it's really hard to um, understand Charles Bennett syndrome because a lot of people won't tell you about their hallucinations because they're afraid they're going to be considered insane. Also, um, a lot of doctors misdiagnose it or completely look over it. Um, to summarize, a person with Charles Bennett syndrome will probably have either partial or full blindness. People with Charles Bennett syndrome usually understand that they are having a hallucination and that they <clears throat> and that they can easily be corrected if they don't understand that they're having a hallucination. Also, people with um, Charles Bennett syndrome usually have created hallucinations rather than memory, so it's unknown whether or not it's actually coming from memory or if it's coming from imagination. Um, the biggest thing to remember with Charles Bennett syndrome is that um, it's usually people with damage to the visual system. And that's Charles Bennett syndrome. Thank you.